President Trump cheers on Covington High School student Nick Sandman after a judge reinstated his $250 million lawsuit against the Washington Post for defamation. One America's Neil McCabe spoke to Sandman's attorney and has this report from Washington. Kentucky attorney Todd McMurtry represents Covington Catholic High School student Nick Sandman in his lawsuits against the Washington Post, CNN and NBC for their coverage of the January 18th confrontation with American Indian activist Nathan Phillips. McMurtry told One America News why the suit against the Washington Post is now back on the docket and what the status is of the other two suits. Uh, we were successful in uh, filing a motion to reconsider that dismissal uh, and we added additional facts to our complaint basically to allege that uh, Nathan Phillips was a provocateur and troublemaker. McMurtry said the lawsuits against the Washington Post, CNN and NBC all allege that the outlets made factual errors and made defamatory statements beyond their native platform online and on social media. And the false statements are consistent uh, with all three cases. They're very similar false statements. And then each of Washington Post, CNN, and NBC reported and offered their own twist and spin on the false statements to uh, make them uh, more defamatory or to increase the damages that we see based upon the outrageous nature of the statements. Neither CNN nor NBC made any corrections or apologies. But the Washington Post did take down its stories and offer an editor's note explaining the errors in its reporting. McMurtry said because the Washington Post efforts were made outside the 10-day safe harbor in Kentucky law, they are still liable for libel and defamation. And what the Washington Post did is, in essence, admitted that the statements that Nathan Phillips had made, that Nicholas Sandman had blocked him or intimidated him, were false. And uh, so they, they stated those retractions in their uh, newspaper and online. And if you go today to look at their publications online, those retractions and uh, editor's notes will be there. The judge presiding over the Washington Post lawsuit scheduled a conference for early December to check on the progress of the case. But McMurtry said in this lawsuit or the other two, he will not settle. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.